Welcome back. So, you know, for many of us, we know adulting is not easy, especially when it comes to finances. And joining us to share how to talk money with recent graduates, financial planner, author of Redefining Financial Literacy, we have Cindy Kuyamjin joining us. Good morning, Cindy. Good morning, Meta. Thanks for having me. I'm glad you're on because, you know, just last week we were covering uh, so many graduation ceremonies for many of our local universities and colleges here. So it's a big thing uh, for graduates. They get their money, you know, as gifts, and, you know, they deserve it. They went through high school and college and graduated. So what are you supposed to do with that extra cash? Well, you know, this last two years have been very difficult on these uh, graduates and these educational milestones. So the first thing I think of is take a little bit of that money and spend. Maybe go on a trip, but spend mindfully and look for those discounts when it comes to, you know, travel and different ex extravaganzas. And the next thing I'd like to do is take a little bit of that money and save. Get started on getting financially literate, understanding basic financial concepts. That's a good idea. I mean, they can enjoy it, right? They went through a tough year, especially uh, a lot of virtual classes, things like that, and now they can get out and travel. So that's, that's actually a great idea. Uh, and then saving. So what's like the best way percentage-wise? Do you have an idea of like how much you should spend, how much you should save? Absolutely, especially when these young graduates start working, you know, and whether you're graduating from high school or college, these students get jobs, try to save 10% of your income. 90% mm -hmm. you can say you can spend 10% try to save. Okay. okay, that's a good game plan there. And then what about investing? Is it too early to be investing or should they be doing it? Absolutely, it's never too late to start investing. And you know, a lot of these young kids are on Robin Hood giving these yeah. young people power and in investing but the word of advice that i give these young people is you know get involved on these investment apps try to learn the basics because if you don't understand investment trends and you hop into these apps like robin hood and coinbase you could risk all your money mm -hmm. so get started by taking five ten minutes a day downloading these youtube videos these apps that can start teaching you, but make sure the people that are teaching you have experience in the financial service industry, a license or a credential. So you know that the information is um, knowledge and knowledge is power to help you meet your financial goals. Yeah, and I'm sure for a lot of people, once they start seeing, hey, I can actually make some money by putting my money in the right place, <laughs> it feels pretty good, right? It's actually motivating. It's, a, it, it's, it's empowering and it keeps you on track to accomplishing the goals or whatever uh, financial yeah. goals you have set out for yourself. Any warnings, though, uh, when it comes to investing? I mean, should they, you know, watch out for certain signs, what not to do? Yeah, you don't want to be opening these apps like Robinhood and buying and selling because that's really a form of gambling. And a lot of these young kids have really, you know, with this pandemic, have enrolled in these apps and, and the statistics show that so please don't go out there and you know listen to a tip from a friend get educated have uh even your parents financial planner sit down with you and spend an hour to give you some investment basics because that's what we're doing in our practice we're helping the young children out by sitting down and getting them not only attuned to investing and saving, but building that credit score. Get a credit card, build the credit score, and get a secure credit card so you can uh, eventually um, purchase items in the future. Yeah, buying a house, things like that. Uh, you know, it, it always sounds daunting, but it can be done if they're thinking about it, even at age 18. It's not too early. Uh, Cindy, tell us real quick, you wrote this book, Redefining Financial Literacy. Uh, why is this so important for you to be able to share these messages? Well, I think um, a lot of people, even adults that attempt to learn about financial literacy is more or less on savings, emergency fund and budgeting. This book is really gonna help Americans give them a roadmap to retirement because the research says today that 40% of Americans are gonna run on money in retirement. So I created this manuscript, this book to help educate investors out there and let them know and give them hope and new strategies outside of just stocks and bonds. And there are other options that are available to you to sustain you during your retirement years and leave a legacy for your children. Okay. All right. Something on a lot of people's minds these days. Cindy, thank you so much. Synergyfinancial.com is the website to go to. We appreciate your time this morning. Thank you so much, Netta. Have a great day.